Hello, Ms. Bratcher here, and this is Business Law. What we're going to review in this assignment is trial courts and appellate courts. A trial court has original jurisdiction, which means it hears a case the first time around. It also reviews evidence, like videos, receipts, pictures. It hears witnesses, so people that would come up on the stand and they would ask them questions to see what they saw that day and they reach a verdict such as guilty or not guilty. What I would like for you to do at this point is to list as many people as you can think of that would be part of a trial. We also have appellate courts. Appellate courts hear a case the second time around so they they don't usually have original jurisdiction. They hear issues of law not facts. So they just want to talk about what went wrong in the original trial. Did they admit evidence maybe that they weren't supposed to admit? Um, did they improperly question somebody? So again, they don't hear any evidence and they don't call witnesses to the stand. We don't introduce any new evidence especially. We only talk about that issue of law that went wrong in the original trial. To do that, they're going to review transcripts from that original trial and appellate briefs. At the end of this, they are going to either affirm the decision, reverse the decision, amend or remand the previous decision. Now, what I'd like for you to do, you're going to have to use chapter 3 in your book, but you believe that your locker has been unjustly searched and you have been wrongly punished for the items found in the locker. If you were to appeal this decision, what would you put in your appellate brief? Now you're going to want to use page 50 to help you with the appellate brief. An appellate brief is a written argument on issues of law admitted by opposing attorneys. If you are affirming a decision, you are upholding it. If you are reversing it, you are overturning the original decision. If you are amending it, you are changing that decision. And if you are remanding it, that means you are sending it back to the trial court for corrective action. I'd now like you to look at this picture. Based off of what we just learned about trial courts and appellate courts, identify what type of court that you believe is pictured here. I'm now going to ask you questions about what we just learned. What type of jurisdiction does a trial court have? At a trial court, would you hear questions of facts or issues of law? True or false, appellate courts review decisions of lower courts when a party claims an error was made during the lower court's proceeding. Which of the following would be involved in an appellate court? Juries, judges, or witnesses? If a judge says guilty or not guilty, he just read you the verdict or the judgment. Which one? If a judge at the appellate level upholds the decision of the lower court, what has he done? Affirmed, reversed, amended, or remanded? If the appellate court changes the decision of the lower court, what have they just done? Affirmed, reversed, amended, or remanded? 